So we're just going to put a little bit more moss on the base of this orchid plant to dress it in this beautiful English mossy clay pot. And there you go. An orchid presentation in a beautiful antique pot. Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I'd like to walk you through a very special project that allows you to have beautiful forced paper whites in your home at any point in time. So I'm gonna take this beautiful low container and I'm gonna fill it with gravel. Create a base for the roots of the paper white to grow up on. And what I'll do is I'll take, first of all, the paper white and I'll remove the onion skin husk and make sure that we don't have any loose portions of the bulb and the layers of onion skin that would fall off and mess up our gravel. So cleaning the bulb and sort of removing these layers just a little bit, just the loose ones, um, will help have a beautiful finished product that can be enjoyed. So I've got some that are already cleaned and already prepped, so I'm just going to place them around on the gravel, just forcing the little base ring of roots right onto the gravel surface in a concentric circle. And they don't have to be overfilled. You can fill them as, as tightly as you'd like, or you can just leave them sort of separate and loose. And the roots will show, and it'll be a beautiful display, very organic, very natural. So I think we can fit one more. And there, we have a nice set of rings of paper white bulbs placed on top of gravel. Their roots will grow down. And so now we're going to add water. We're going to go ahead and fill up. Really, we just want to bring the water up to the base of the bulb and allow it to have enough water to encourage it to start growing. When these bulbs sense that there's water, they're just going to start growing roots and they'll start sending up the bloom stalk, and that's all we can ask them to do, is sort of to do what they would have done in nature. Here we have the glass cube, which I started, these square glass containers, and I used um, a crushed granite gravel, and I put three bulbs on top and filled with water, and these were started three days ago. Here's bulbs that were started five days ago, maybe five to seven. Here's some that are just over a week old, maybe eight to nine days. Here's the set that is really just starting to produce the bloom spike and started just the same way as we did here. This is a um, probably 13 days, maybe, maybe two weeks old, and it's starting to show color and starting to show height. After about two weeks, they really start to flare out. The, gr the blade starts to grow from the paper white and you start to see this um, magnificent uh, display of the head of the paper white florets growing and showing their, their beautiful white color. So this is about a two week old growing paper white. And here's one that's about three weeks old. And it doesn't take long, probably about a week in full bloom. And then the tips start to get sort of paper thin and just look like tissue paper. And so once that happens, I think it's time to go ahead and take the bulb and remove it from the gravel. And so what I use is a colander. And I simply take the roots out, shake them, remove all of the gravel, because the gravel can be used again. And what I do is I just take it and soak it maybe overnight in a bucket or a bowl of Clorox water, a cap full of Clorox and about a gallon of water, and just sort of remove any bacteria that may be, because we want to use these, this gravel again, maybe if we do this again next year or start some more bulbs. So we don't really need to throw these away as they can be planted outside in the garden and left to naturalize for years to come. So here we have it. We have the bulbs, preparing the bulbs, planting them in a container set with gravel. We have the stages of of the growth, as you can see how long it takes. It takes two to three weeks for them to become blooming and, and staying in full bloom. We have a plan for the discarded bulb. It can go straight into the garden. And here we have um, a set of paper whites, which we started about eight days ago in a beautiful container. It doesn't have to be glass. It can be any sort of waterproof container that would allow you to show a display 
And once again, I probably started three or four sets of the paper whites in this container alone this year here for the front window in the shop. And there you have it. We've talked about starting paper whites for enjoyment inside the home. And if you give yourself two to three weeks, you'll have a set of beautiful paper whites in full bloom. They can be used in your home or given as a gift. My name is Glenwood Weber, and I encourage you to create something beautiful every day.